the Apple Watch Ultra is finally here and this watch is different than anything else out there. Apple did not send me this watch by the way for a review or anything. This is not a media unit. This is basically what you get if you go and buy one yourself. So let's get to it. As a triathlete who's competed in multiple Ironman triathlons, a runner and a father of two hard-headed teenagers, I needed this. I needed something bulky. This is my kind of watch and I also happen to be a certified recreational scuba diver so I will definitely be diving with this and I can finally, finally say goodbye to my Sunto Stinger dive computer. We've had a lot of good times together, we've had a lot of beautiful dives but it's time for you to go. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. All right, the first thing you'll notice out of the box is how big and bulky it is in comparison to other Apple Watches. Apple Watches haven't changed that much since the beginning of Apple Watches. They are known for their slim, minimal design. And just for comparison, here is my Apple Watch Series 6. You can see the difference in size here in thickness and screen. And just for comparison's sake, here is the Garmin 955 Solar Watch. I'm just eyeballing it here and they look to be the exact same thickness. So the Apple Watch Ultra is no doubt big, but still sexy. Its bulkiness doesn't take anything away from the known Apple aesthetic. You can definitely tell it's an Apple Watch, but an Apple Watch that has been loading up on a lot of cookies or maybe a lot of protein shake. So I have been wearing the watch for less than a day now so far and it fits nice on my wrist. It is very comfortable and uh, I am just for comparison's sake I am six foot tall and this is the large Alpine lube band but I think it will definitely feel and look a little big on someone with a smaller wrist but that did not stop a lot of people from wearing a big Garmin watch for example. I did have a one night sleep with this watch on and it did not feel uncomfortable and honestly I didn't even feel it. That's something I have always done with my Apple watches, so I was kind of worried about not being able to sleep with this watch. I honestly like how the watch wakes me up with that tiny little tapping that it does on my wrist, but I also did not sleep with other brand fitness watches because they were just uncomfortable and very bulky to sleep with, but this one was pretty comfortable. We will see if I change my mind down the road. The screen is just beautiful. The Apple Watch Ultra is the largest Apple Watch to date at 49 millimeter, which is five millimeter larger than the 45 millimeter Apple Watch Series 8. Apple also made the Ultra very bright with a display that goes up to 2000 nits. That is as bright as the iPhone 14 Pro. So I am very confident you won't have any issues looking at the screen at daylight. Also, if you turn the dial, it will switch to red night mode it's pretty sick looking. Speaking of the dial, as you see the dial is now protected and tucked in to prevent you from accidentally turning it. It is also a little bit bigger and has a different texture to it to make it easier to use when your finger are wet or wearing gloves. Right below the dial you'll find the side button. The side button existed in every Apple Watch but this one does stick out just a tiny bit and has a little click to it which I really like. Also, Apple added a new button to the left and that is called the action button. It is essentially a set of prescribed shortcuts that you can customize. Uh, and currently you have multiple options to select from. Workout, stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, dive, flashlight, and shortcuts or nothing. You can make it do nothing. Some of these actions have secondary functions or gestures depending on the action you select. You will see what gestures are available. The workout action, for example, allows you to either open the native workout app or immediately start a selected workout without the traditional 3, 2, 1 countdown that you are probably familiar with Apple Watches. Uh, pressing the action button during a workout will then trigger a specific function for a running workout, it will let you create segments. It is also useful for triathletes in case you do not want to use the auto transition feature available in Watch OS 9. So pressing it will manually switch from one leg of the race to the next. Other functions are straightforward like the flashlight, just basically a flashlight. And if you press and hold the action button or side button, you can trigger the new siren 
that is available on the Apple Watch Ultra. When you turn on the siren, Apple Watch Ultra plays a continuous, unique, high pitch sound that repeat at a regular interval and can be heard up to 600 feet away. Really cool if you are out there on a hike or you are in a situation where you need help. So to test out the siren, I have my son all the way standing by the trees over there, about 300 or so feet away, and I can definitely hear that chirp. I don't know if you can hear it or not on the video, but I can definitely hear it. It's pretty unique and it's pretty cool. So that is a really cool and handy feature that hopefully you'll never need to use. And speaking of buttons, Apple removed the ability to customize fields display from the watch app in iOS 16. Why did you do that, Apple? Who made that decision? So now to customize fields, you have to use the watch itself to add fields or move pages around, which isn't too bad but not user-friendly, which is what Apple in particular is known for. You are known, Apple, for just being user-friendly. So that is a feature that was there that Apple took out and they will probably bring it back at some point and sell us on it like they always do, just like they did with MagSafe. Okay, let's talk about the band. This is the Orange Alpine band and I did not know if I'm going to like it, but it is actually really nice. They have three different bands that you can select from when you order the Apple Watch. The Alpine Loop band, which is what I have here. They also have the Trail Loop and Ocean band. The Alpine Loop band has this G hook that you use to secure the band in place. Now, generally, hooks or any metal on watch band usually annoys me when I am at a desk and typing. I just cannot stand that constant hitting sound or noise that it makes when hitting the desk. But since this G hook attaches uh, to the side rather than the bottom, I don't have this problem. So I really like that. The bands comes in different color. As you see, this is the orange one, just like everyone else out there who ordered the Ultra. It does look cool and I really like it, but I wish I ordered the green one instead. That one looks sick. But older Apple Watch bands do fit too. This one is the US Olympic band Apple sold during the Summer Olympic Games that looks exactly like the Ultra Loop band. As for the battery, Apple says the battery should last you 36 hours in typical use. So I expect two days out of this watch before needing to charge it. I have been wearing it since last evening after a full charge. I slipped with it on. I've been constantly playing with it playing with the settings, the siren, watch faces. I went for a 70 minute long run and now coming to almost 20 hours later or so, and I have about 62% left. For me personally, I find charging the Apple Watch to be simple and generally charges very quick, but the longer the battery life is definitely nice to have. That is what stopped a lot of people from switching from other brands to Apple Watch. Also, Apple said a new battery optimization setting that is coming later this fall via an update will take that battery life up to 60 hours. Generally, Apple products are geared towards the masses, the one size fits all approach. But with the Apple Watch Ultra, Apple for the first time is targeting a niche group here, the sports focused fitness group, consumers who are looking for something different, something that is rugged with a bigger screen, more buttons and more battery life, and that is what Apple Watch Ultra delivers. Oh, and it is a dive computer too. Do you know how expensive and ugly dive computers can be? They are not cheap and can be ugly at the same time. But whether the Apple Watch Ultra is for you depends on mostly on how you plan to use it. The Apple Watch is a really good smartwatch, arguably one of the best smartwatches out there. And I have no doubts that you will be constantly using it. It is very easy to use and most of the features that it has are features that you actually find yourself constantly using. And not to forget, many of these features are designed to basically save your life, like the fall detection, car crash detection, siren, etc. The Apple Watch Ultra will definitely be replacing my Apple Watch 6 and I'll be putting it to a ton of swimming, cycling and running and we'll post more videos on that in the next few weeks. There are things that Apple missed, like the third party sensor support, hot rate broadcasting, uh, third party app support, but hopefully we'll see them added in the near future via software or hardware update. Let me know in the comments below. Is the Apple Watch Ultra going to be your next fitness watch? 
is it worth $800 or would you stick with the regular Apple Watch or stay away from Apple altogether and stick with other brands like Garmin, Polar or Coros? Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button and if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.